A lot of people have trouble with the elastic part of this project so one of the ways that I find this to be very helpful is there's two things I do um, just take a piece of copy paper just right out of the copier um, you can use junk mail as long as it's not going to harm your sewing machine and I don't know what all kind of you know mail what type of papers there are I just prefer to use a plain 20 pound copy paper so take a safety pin or if um, if your safety pin is too big then you can take a large eye needle if you have a plastic needle they work really well through like this make sure it's not twisted overlap it just a little bit and then take a short straight pin you don't need a long short uh, long straight pin so something kind of small I think this this little green one right here is really tiny and then just pin it together like that and then take a piece of paper, put it under your sewing machine foot, and then lay this elastic down. Okay. All right, so you've got the paper down and you've got the elastic underneath. It's just straight across this way. It's not side to side, right to left. Okay? Now, hold it to hold it in place. Now mechanically drop your needle just to the elastic. Do not go through it because you might hit the pin. So now it's pretty much held in place. Pull the pin out and go ahead and put the needle all the way down. Put your sewing machine in a zigzag stitch and then I'm going to try to stay out of the way. Then just zigzag forward. Zigzag backwards. Uh, let's see. Yeah. and then zigzag forward again like that and then you can just take this out paper and all cut your thread and now the paper should be perforated so if you just let me back you up a little bit if you just pull gently it should just come right off of the elastic and then all you have left to do is cut those threads and there we go a completed mask that can be bleached this part will stay raised up away from your mouth goes behind your ear. I'm not feeling any pressure back here. I feel like I have enough room. That's not tight. It's not interfering with my vision and it's under my chin. So I think it's going to be a decent mask. So anyway, the other thing I want to show you before I go today, I may be doing a gardening video. Um, Today I've got a lot going on in the garden that I'd love to show and share. 
Um, there's a flower that is about to bloom. If I don't lose the bloom to a hungry creature, I've had several blooms just be snatched away from me. I had a hosta bloom gone. A couple of little flower blooms have, have left. This one is on the porch. Um, this one appears to be kind of a pale peachy color and it has not opened up yet. I checked it twice this morning. Um, but the, the big story behind all of this is my daughter is now in her early 30s. We tried every single year to get a leaf to come up just some sign of life. We've left a trail of non-emerging bulbs behind us from Alabama, two to three different places where we lived, Kansas, two places that we lived, and then here, two places. And finally this year, I've had all of the bulbs emerged. One has a, bl a bloom one. The other thing I'm working on is this um, little bit of embroidery and what I'm going to do with this once it's completed is I'm going to trim it out right along this edge here and then this is going to be an applique that will go on a piece of fabric that will then become a um, useful little basket on my sewing machine table where I can put this. Um, but if you, if you want to know how to do any of these stitches or why this looks the way it looks, just drop me a comment below. I really, really appreciate it. I'm up to 71 subscribers and I can't be more appreciative. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.